What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon. Welcome to this week's comic haul. Today I've got last week's new comic book day pickups uh, as well as I think this week's DC stuff came in in my pile as well and we've got some Lickworthy stuff too. We may get appearance from um, Captain Saro and obviously the usual community shout out so let's do this. So before I start, I do just want to do a quick little shout out to a certain channel, um, Brian LCS. You guys may know um, he is the, let's say, he's the creator of the current Comic Book Community Awards. He's also doing a uh, 500 subscriber giveaway. He's only he's not very far from 500 subscribers, uh, but he wants you know you guys to do a video if you can for an entry. Uh, to shout out the comic book community awards i was really into it last year um, when he announced it it's just a fun idea and i know a lot of people got butthurt about it because they didn't know about it but it's like if you didn't know about it i mean how involved in the community are you i'm just saying i'll leave a link to the comic book community awards website check that out um, i don't think he's got the um, nominations and things up yet uh, but last year was a lot of fun uh, make sure you check that out and brian if does that count as a entry to your giveaway hopefully it does but yeah. uh yeah i supported it massively last year uh, and i wasn't pushing myself to win anything i was just supporting the idea because i just think it's a lot of fun but in saying that babe yeah do you think there's any awards i could win all of them i don't think so but um maybe if they do like best weekly comic haul show i mean i can't think of any other weekly haul shows that are as entertaining as this can you no that's right. See, you heard it from Captain Saros. Uh, Brian uh, does a great job with it. And when he actually did the um, the actual comic book awards show, uh, it was absolutely fantastic. He's put a lot of effort and time into it. So yeah, uh, make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you support it and vote for all your favorite channels. All right, let's get to the books. Please be in my video, Sarah. I want views. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with some Vampirella. Now you, you may already notice I already got these books. You're like, didn't you show these like weeks ago, Simple Simon? I thought, yes, I did. I said like, I didn't even order this book. Mark got them in again because apparently there was a misprint in the original print. So uh, he actually got these for me for free, uh, including this one, which I didn't order last time, but he was like, yep, on the house, because it was a misprint, he got them for free. Uh, and that is definitely Lickworthy, that one. I like it. The Lickworthiness continues with some Red Sonia. This is the Valentine's Day special. Oh my goodness. Even Red Sonia thinks this cover's Lickworthy. Look at her. That's like two weeks in a row where we had some Red Sonia sticking out her tongue. That's that's some good stuff. Uh, Super Us 9000! Tell me what you think of this. Hashtag Lickworthy. That is a beautiful cover. Um, the Vampirella um, Valentine's Day cover's coming out this week. I actually think this cover's actually better than the Vampirella one. If you guys actually haven't watched this show from the start, uh, I get my books, my DC books, the week they come out, and my Diamond books, I get them a week late now because of um, all the uh, shipping times change, which sucks. Uh, it really inconvenience this series. This next one is a Vampirella Unholy cover. I slept on this cover. Uh, I, I got to a point where I realized I didn't need every Pirello cover. So I didn't order this one. And then Mark put one on the shelf. I saw it on the shelf and I was like, why would I not order this cover? She's all chained up. Of course I'm gonna get that cover. So we've got some DC here. Uh, we've got Joker issue 12. I think there's only 13 issues of this. So I think only one more issue to go. So that's kind of cool. Another title off my list. And this is I think cover C, which is a nice little punchline cover. You know me, I'm down with the punchline covers. Echo Lands, number six. I also believe this might be the last issue. Can someone confirm that for me? Um, this is, uh, I only read the first issue and I just thought it was a real fantastic ride, acid trip type of ride. Uh, so uh, we look forward to actually getting onto that. Sarah, I need you. I need to ask you questions. What question? You better sit down first before like, you know, Bubs catches you in your underwear. If you like Suck Captain Sorrow, check them out. Yeah, well, there you I, go. We just, we just, did you guys see that? Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Okay. So the next one is Batcat issue number 10. Amazing Clayman cover there. Look at that. Is that, that sexy? 
that look worthy, babe? It's, uh, it's, it's okay cover. So, yeah, that's... Uh, I was going to ask, uh, actually, because obviously I've only read the first issue of this, but this is worth reading. Would you recommend I, it? To I'm the... enjoying it. I think I, cause I tried to read them month by month when it was coming out. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it as much as I did when I read straight, I think from issue one to six, when I reread it when I had a couple more issues. Mm -hmm. So I think it is, it's well worth a read, but it'll be even better once the story is complete, because there's only 12 issues. Which is why I decided to, I read the first issue and I got those vibes, and I think Tom King's always like that. Did Jim Lee not do a cover this time? I feel like neither of those were Jim Lee variants, uh, but they're the three covers of Batcat. This cover looks great. Joker puzzle box. What? I'd like it. I think it's a cool one. Just, yeah. It's very... Not much is going on. Yeah, there's not on. much going on in any of them though, but this one kind of just stood out. Like compared I to all the, the other ones. Puzzle box covers it's like, like nothing, like literally, it's like the Less same thing. <laughs> same thing, different color, no joker head. So then we got Batman issue 120. I read, I finally read issue uh, 118 and 119 last night. Uh, Williamson's Batman. I enjoy it, and I think the art looks fantastic. Sarah hates the story, I, hates the art, I hates Batman. I words in my mouth. <laughs> well, tell the people then. <laughs> I enjoyed the art, last art. So, who was it? So she really likes Jorge Jimenez, or however you say it, uh, who did the art for Tynan's stuff. I love their art, and I love so that, I. and I love Tynan's writing. Um, I just don't think there's anything special for me to keep buying this every two weeks yeah, at I'm, the moment. I'm just saying, the art, uh, Jorge Molina's art is also fantastic. I prefer him, Jimenez as well, but the art in this is very, very good. I never said it was horrid, I just, there's nothing special about um, this new run of Batman to make me yeah, get it every two weeks. <laughs> I thought the first two issues that Williamson did were pretty good, um, but it's opinion based. Opinion based! So the next one, this one I didn't order, but Mark had one left and he said, I'll put this aside for Simon because he likes Adam Hughes. And I was like, no, didn't yes. you ask for it? And he said he didn't have it. And then, uh, oh, maybe I did. He did. Who knows? Maybe you did. I did. Because uh, he had it there, but he didn't know if it was for any of his other customers. Uh, he okay. thought it was. Yeah, so sometimes. So he said no to you. And then it wasn't for another customer. So he put it in his box. So sometimes Mark has covers and he's like, yeah, you should be able to take one. And I'm always like, look, don't just give it to me. Just make sure, you know, so I leave and I'm like, if, there's spare ones, then put one in my pile, but I definitely don't want to take from any of his customers, you know what I'm saying? Future State Gotham. Um, I'm, what am I? I think I've read the first five or six of this. I'll probably cut this. I don't know how long it's going to take me to eventually pick this up again. Uh, but I was enjoying what I read of Future State Gotham. Um, and you know what's going to happen. When I eventually start catching up on a lot of my books now, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I didn't stop getting this. Oh. I don't think it's going to be that good. Um, Trade reading, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Magic Order 2, issue 4? Wait, how many issues did this come out really quickly? No. I feel like issue 1 wasn't that long ago. I feel like this no, is No, my coming... sketch has been in my holds at... What, 4 months, you reckon? Fucking ages. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe. Uh, Noctera, issue 7. Yes, yes. Noctera, one of my favourite series that's uh, out. So I should really get back on that train because I love Noctera. But again, I think I want to let a few issues build up before I read it, just because it's more fun that way. Yeah, before I read it was good. Uh, this is the Jason Fabok cover as well. Can you... These two, like, these two have been fighting, like, lately. You <laughs> bitch! Then we got crossover issue 11. I think I'm gonna cut this too. Did I say that last week? I feel like I said that last time. Um, but yeah, I Wait, think I think I cancelled my subscription, but I think I'm on it till issue 12 and then I'm gonna stop but uh i enjoy crossover but again i just don't know how long it's going to be before i feel like catching up uh, catching up on it and then the last one is basilisk issue seven again i'm behind i think i've only read the first three issues of this and this is issue seven so I haven't read any. another one i may or may not cut but you guys should convince me in the comments <laughs> otherwise um do you want to grab your books you got some sexy liquidity stuff today. Um, you got to get your books, I'll do my shout outs. As, as Mark said, at least I read my books. Hey, I've been reading. I read the like last two nights yeah, in a row. Have you read any of those Vampirella, Red Sonia, any of I those? tried to read a Red Sonia run, the Merca and Dolfo one, and I wasn't feeling it. So my bag and boredom videos, the first one was Whack Comics. I couldn't scroll past without clicking because Whack did some Star Wars content. So yeah, had to check it out. Uh, Lee did a little narrative video of the last uh, episode of Boba Fett 
featured a lot of Grogu or Baby Yoda as we all like to call him. Do we? And um, yeah, it was it was really cool. So check that out. Very funny stuff. Uh, the other videos I bagged and bought it to. First one was Ruben Guzman. 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 Cowabunga fam, uh, White Tiger, Cool, Calm and Collected. He did a video talking about his Something's Killing the Children books. I had a really cool story just about how, you know, he was a big Tynan fan and that's how he ended up. He ordered all of them from the get-go, like before the hype, you know, he's one of those guys, uh, which is very good. So I love hearing those stories. So check out uh, White Tiger, Cool, Calm and Collected. I'll have all the links below. And then the last video I checked out was Magic Lasso, the community's biggest Wonder Woman fan. And he did a haul, and he also picked some very cool stuff. So make sure you check out all three of those channels. Uh, if you're not already subbed to them, show some love and hit that yeah, subscribe yeah. button. What did you get, Sarah, this week? Nothing really interesting. Do you want me to show them? I I, I was looking out for you on this one, wasn't I? Yes. Uh -huh. I was like, hey, Mark, do you still have one of those Red Room free comic book day ones? Because uh, I enjoy it all. Because she read Red Room. I read room. it. <laughs> she read Red Room. and um, it, was it was good. good. It was very interesting. So, uh... <laughs> Yes, you've got the free comic book day of that. Ooh, what is this? Just, what is this? Stepan Sejic. Stepan Sejic. You should see the stuff in here. Yeah. It's just like... Oh, it's bagged. <laughs> um, this is some hot stuff in there. I flicked through it and I was like, oh, you give me shit for the fucking covers. And yes, like it's, inside it's there is just story. all kinds of crazy sexy <laughs> action going on. The art by Stepan Sejic is fantastic. For those who don't know, he did the Harleen Black Label book. Batman Catwoman finally picked up the second <laughs> Magic Order trade. You got the sketch Magic sketch Order cover. trade. That's your, sorry, sketch cover. Yeah, sketch cover? Are you going to get someone to draw, like, uh, what's her name? Cindy Moonshine or something? I don't know. I'll do a sketch cover for you. <laughs> I was thinking uh, one of my good friends is into all that sort of like witchy stuff. I was thinking of giving it to her. And then the three House of Slaughter things I didn't pick up last week. Oh, they're from last one week. Pistol. Right. That's it. That's it. All right. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Uh, coming up on the channel, I've got my room tour video. I'll probably release that this weekend. Um, next week, we're going to do a Nerds Day Out on Valentine's Day. I think Nerds Day Out. Yeah. That's the plan. You guys are going to just watch our Valentine's date and uh, watch us eat some food, but we'll somehow try to try to fix uh, work in some nerdy content in there for you as well so keep an eye out for all of that good stuff oh yeah that's right Me. i've got a giveaway going at the moment the road to 1k giveaway i'm less than 50 subs away so make sure you get in on that quick i do appreciate everyone who's entered already and especially the people who've done videos yeah, yeah. i really appreciate that but yeah, maybe you should do a video entry for my uh it'd be good let us know in the comments if you'd like to see captain saro make a comeback to youtube i know she went out with, on a high note with her last video which killed it we'll see and we're very proud of you but uh we would love to see more content from sarah <laughs> uh so yeah make sure you check out my um bro to 1k giveaway i'm also gonna do a Auss aussies only giveaway but i'll have to announce that uh, at a later date so yeah uh, keep an eye out for all that guys give, give us a thumbs up on the way out leave a comment and um, until next time, keep it simple.